Food Chains is a new documentary that exposes the human cost in our food supply and the complicity of the supermarket industry. What we're asking them uh, concretely is to pay um, what now is a penny and a half more per every pound that they buy from the state of Florida and to also condition their purchases to the implementation of the new rights that have been created to protect the workers. Uh, rights that include uh, the pass-through of the penny a pound as a form, um, in the form of a bonus that until now with the participation of 12 corporations that have signed these agreements including Taco Bell, McDonald's, uh, just recently Walmart and some others, um, have uh, accumulated a total of $12 million that have been distributed among 30,000 job spots uh, since 2010 until now. There's also the rights that have to be implemented and respected by the growers if they want to be in good terms with any of the 12 that have signed, uh, the right to work free of sexual harassment, the right to be able to complain without retaliation, which uh, in the past if you complain about anything, you would be fired on the spot. So many of the problems were on cover. Uh, workers would not risk their ability to feed their family because that was the question. Do I feed my family or do I try to defend my dignity? Um, with this, uh, the Fair Food Program, uh, that's no longer the question. Now what we need is to be able to make it stronger and to bring more buyers to abide by the same uh, rights, uh, by the implementation of the same rights as a condition of doing business. Mm -hmm. We can do this without being bankrupted. These companies, which have billions of dollars a year in annual profits from selling this food, can do this. And there are all these social problems that are really complex and, and really hard to solve. This is not one of them. We can elevate farm workers out of poverty and eat well and not go bankrupt in doing it. What we're asking for is for those who are profiting from our existence and are basically uh, denying our humanity uh, when they do business, when they use the market as a tool that translates into all of the conditions that we have to confront, uh, when in reality the market could be used to uh, create a system where workers are a central, central part, uh, are, their humanity is respected, their wages are um, just like normal uh, in a way for us to have a, a livable situation. But there are companies that have done the right thing uh, and there are a couple, you know, a few companies that haven't. And Who's I'd like not to, doing the right thing that we should, uh, that we should talk about? For example, Publix um, in Florida and the States. In big the South, supermarket chain. Uh, yeah, big supermarket there and uh, very influential within the tomato industry. Uh, also, a uh, very close witness of all the abusive conditions that have gone on forever. Uh, the no, they're, such a close, they're such a close witness. They're literally right in the towns, right by uh -huh. the towns that, that these abuses are happening, that, mm -hmm. that all this is taking place. Yet, as much as they are protested, they won't come forward and help or at least hear your, hear your voice. Yeah, I, I feel that it is a matter of time because at the end it's the consumer who have the last word. Um, but it is, our campaign is not only focusing on them. Our campaign is also pushing uh, the uh, Wendy's uh, restaurants to come on board. Um, ironically, the person who's now the president or the CEO of Wendy's used to be the president of Taco Bell at mm -hmm. the time when they signed. So uh, people, are, uh -huh, people are, are, are asking, uh, why not? I mean, you did it when you were the head of Taco Bell. Um, now it, it makes even more sense to join with the program because now there are many others that are supporting it. Um, we're also asking the Kroger supermarkets to join um, and the brands of Ahold, which are Giant and Stop and Shop. So this is a growing movement that's basically bringing the question uh, to the consumers uh, to like, like are, are we as a society going to let these abusive conditions to go on when we have so much that we can do. Um, and in looking the answer, uh, we're doing that together. And I, I just really believe that these big food companies can make very good profits without exploiting the poorest workers in the supply chain who are basically responsible uh, for our food.
Absolutely, and I think the film very clearly shows that. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me, <laughs> having you. this conversation today. Food Chains is playing now at the Tribeca Film Festival. Stay tuned, we've got plenty more coming up on HuffPost Live.